The key elements of my wash day process pretty much look the same whether I'm doing a wash and go or a twist out or a braid out. Firstly, I like to saturate my hair thoroughly and for those of you who are new to the channel, I am low porosity so it does take a while for my hair to absorb water thoroughly. For this wash day, I'll be using my Afro-G Curlific Shampoo and I like to start off with a nice generous amount which I emulsify and I distribute that through the entirety of my hair um, actually in just like one big section. If you watched my detangling video of the Tangle Teaser, you know that now that my hair is shorter, I'm just enjoying having to do a little bit less. Um, however, I do always go in and break the hair apart to ensure that my scalp is thoroughly cleansed and like each and every strand has been you know thoroughly shampooed um, <laughs> as you can see um, and one thing that I've always noticed with my hair is that as it's uh, as it's shampooed it does lose a lot of its volume and that's just because the hair just tends to pull together a bit more um, it reduces like bulk the bulkiness of it if that makes sense it's like when my hair is fully detangled So then I like to thoroughly rinse out the shampoo and usually I would go ahead and condition but on this day I actually wanted to go back in with another shampoo so that I could detangle with shampoo instead of conditioner. Once the shampoo is thoroughly rinsed, I go in with my Camille Rose Lavender Moisture Shampoo which is extremely moisturising for my hair, um, super super moisturising, I, I, I feel like you can even tell just looking at the way that my curls clump together and the way my fingers just glide through my hair really easily. I like to start off with a bit of finger detangling as usual just to break up any big clumps, any big, um, what do you call it, what do you call it, tangles, <laughs> break up any tangles with my fingers, just work it through as much as I can and then I go in with um, any of my detangling tools, whichever one I have at hand and I'll be going in today with my Tangle Wrangler. So I like to make sure that the section I'm working on is thoroughly detangled because I do finger style. I use my hands to style and my hair clumps together best when it's smooth between my fingers. But what um, detangling with a tool does is it just helps to smooth the hair and it also helps to remove every single knot and tangle. As you can see it was super easy for me to part my hair. And I just want to say in hindsight this part was just not where I wanted it to be It didn't give my hair the shape I wanted it, but it's okay. We move <laughs> We move um, so at this point I rinse out the shampoo and you can see that my hair is looking like it's really Absorbing water now. It's heavier. It's more weighed down I then go in with the curl lift it texture treatment and I just want to say that the shampoo and conditioners I use on a weekly basis do change a lot of the time it's just whatever I feel like using however I feel like smelling um, and what purpose or what need my hair has so with this I just felt like a little bit of uh, curl you know protein um, was needed hence why I use the curlific range <laughs> So I just distribute the deep conditioner, it's actually a deep conditioner but it's a three minute deep conditioner um, all throughout my hair and then I just go in a finger detangle. <laughs> um, so what you will see me doing whenever I bend over is actually I just scoop up some water, um, add the water to the section and I just finger the product through. So as you can see my hands wet there, I must have cut it out but I've basically added a bit of water to that section and it just allows me to glide my fingers through and that's it that's that's pretty much it I will do that um, section by section and at this point I've already got my hair in the the part that I want it to be and I smooth downwards all of this is prepping my hair for the wash and go styling process um, as you can see this is 
basically the foundation of the the wash and go um, and once I'm happy with the way that my hair is falling the way that my hair feels I will go ahead and rinse that out so I've rinsed it out and now I section my hair from my hair from ear to ear and I'm going in with my uncle funky's curly magic I have I go I went ahead guys and purchased the salon size which cost me like almost 50 quid um, I couldn't believe it but that's how much I love this product my first one was on its last legs as you can see I couldn't even pump it so <laughs> this is how much I use per section and I just wanted to say that actually this section is quite large and this is the sections or the size of sections that I usually do however I would advise you to do smaller if you want your hair to be more defined and on days when I do want my hair to be extra super defined I will usually go in with much smaller sections but I just like the look I get when I do this size of section in so I emulsify the product in my hand I rub it through um, as you can see as soon as I get this gel on my hair it just looks like my hair holds onto water so much easier um, you can see it's kind of almost heavy it's pregnant with water which is the dream if you have low porosity hair um, and I just always go in and I just apply a little bit more water to each section after applying the product not only does the product allow me or the water allow the product to glide um, through my hair much easier but this product is like water loving so it really works it's magic if your hair is thoroughly wet um, and a bit of extra drenching always helps so in case you guys missed it I didn't actually use a leave-in I just went straight in with the Uncle Funky's curly magic and I wanted to show you the, the sections. This is essentially what my hair looks like before I apply the product. And I got to crack open my brand new salon size bottle on camera. So cheers. Cheers to the freaking weekend. <laughs> okay, so I apply a pump to each section because this bottle is much bigger one pump is actually um, way more than the pump that you'd get with the smaller size so instead of using two pumps per section I was okay with just using one pump per section I start off with the ends and of course I work it all the way up through the roots and I literally just smooth and rake um, that's what works best for my hair type I smooth and rake smooth and rake just adding a little bit more water and guys I want to apologize in advance if there's a lot of noise in the background my windows are open because it's like hellfire hot in my room today but this is what my hair looks like um, all the kind of shiny white looking things that you see is actually just water droplets like I said my hair is low porosity so you will see loads of water droplets on my head and then out of the shower I like to go in with a second product so I'm using the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel and I don't use this gel to define my hair at this point my hair is already kind of defined or as defined as I personally need it to be um, and I just use this product just to lock in that definition so I hope that makes sense I take a little bit and I use even bigger sections and I just smooth the product through it kind of just helps my hair to have a bit more hold and it helps the style to last over like the next seven days um, so yeah as you can see that's all I'm doing is just smoothing it in the sections
the more I look at this guys the more that part just gets on my damn nerves I hated it so much this wash and go I think I even washed it out early or I put my hair in like a puff or something the part was just slightly off so anyway this is what my hair looks like <laughs> after it's been under the dryer for about an hour um, and I do have a breakdown of what that actually looks like so I sit underneath the dryer for about 10-15 minutes on um, high and then I go down to like medium for about another 20 minutes and then I, I use the rest of the hour on cool just to lock and seal my hair in and um, as you can see that stupid part just gives me like the most awkward shape um, but anyway this is what it looks like this is what my wash and goes look like and like I said you can definitely get your hair more defined if you use smaller sections but this is how I like it um, my haircut is definitely growing out and I do need a touch up haircut um, just to maintain the bluntness but yeah I'm still loving my hair guys if you missed my video all about my summer of wash and goes do check it out I feel like it's the perfect um, video to go alongside this just to give you guys some more information on you know what's happening and what I'm doing I hope you enjoyed the video as always I will catch you on the next one bye